Great to have you with us. I'm Joe Donlin. And I'm Erica Sargent. For the first time, we're getting a look inside a vacant Chicago public school at the center of a controversy to house migrants. Take a look at these photos. We've reported extensively on the Woodlawn School. The plans, shrouded in secrecy, created an uproar in the community. CBS 2's Lauren Victory is in the control room now with a story you'll see only on 2. Lauren? Well, Joe and Erica, there's that cliche, a picture's worth a thousand words. The ones you're about to see paint a picture of the possible reason why migrants haven't moved in to the old Wadsworth Elementary School just yet. Over the past few months, we've shown you this Woodlawn Elementary School from the drone and from the ground. We've shared images of workers coming and going and the ongoing construction inside. Our ideal target start date there is January 6. Then in late December, a hastily called community meeting where city officials finally opened up about plans to move migrants in less than two weeks later. Maybe to reconsider your deadline because you're not giving us enough time. Then on January 4th, two days before move-in day, the mayor's office sent out an email backtracking saying the date is no longer applicable. We want inclusiveness. We want real transparency. We don't know why the January 6th move-in date was scrapped, but we do know what the school looks like inside. CBS2 obtained these photos taken this week that don't exactly cry out home sweet home. Several photos from our insider show missing floor tiles. In other cases, the tiles there, but certainly not very welcoming and clean looking. Look up and you'll see missing ceiling panels in some places. Other areas with work to be done include this dangling speaker and an incomplete light switch. Here's what appears to be the remnants of a chalkboard ripped out. And this ceiling needs some work, at least a fresh coat of paint. Two people are checking out a bathroom, and we know from a public records request that taxpayers paid more than a million dollars on plumbing fixes at the shuttered school. The vagueness of special attention by Chicago Police Department one of the biggest questions by residents at that late December meeting was about safety. In some of the photos we obtained, you can see a man with the word police written on his vest. But we still don't have answers about security at the possible shelter. In fact, when we pressed Chicago police late last month, a spokesperson told us, we're going to refer you over to the mayor's press office. Yet the answer from the mayor's office then? Nothing to share for now. I would appreciate it if you would give us a little more time Little more, another meeting before you set a deadline. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Madison. For whatever reason, the resident you just heard from got her wish. There is a community meeting tomorrow night, another one. I'll be there and I'll be reporting again on Woodlawn residents' attempts to get some answers. In the control room, I'm Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. All right, Lauren, thank you for the update. We apologize for that audio. We do have a bit more on this story as well. Tonight, a community group called Southside Together, organizing for power, emphasized their support for asylum seekers while also expressing disappointment in the city's transparency. A statement issued today said, in part, we demand that this investment be the start of turning the space into a community resource that can be used after the asylum seekers leave. We will not be used as political pawns and we will not see the same done to our allies seeking asylum.